J.D. Vance is the new vice president, uh, the, the, the pick for vice president for, with Donald Trump. Of course, the reason why we need J.D. Vance is that Mr. Mike Pence said, I can't, I cannot support Donald Trump. The man tried to kill me. The guy is crazy. I will not support Donald Trump for president. That's what his former vice president says. But you know, his former vice president has never, either before the presidency, during the presidency of Donald Trump, or wait, let, let, look, or after the presidency of, presidency of Donald Trump, that vice president never said the thing the vice president to be for Donald Trump has said about him. I am surprised that Donald Trump decided to pick J.D. because he probably never saw or heard all what J.D. said. They probably did some numbers and said J.D. would work out fine. Hey, Trump, close your ears. Don't listen to what J.D. said about you before because I want you guys to listen to this. J.D. Vance really, really hated Donald Trump. Vance is less than two years into his first term in the Senate. He worked in venture capital before entering politics. He's also the author of the best-selling memoir, Hillbilly Elegy. The book details his mother's battle with drug addiction, a rotating cast of father figures and other socioeconomic challenges his family faced after they moved from eastern Kentucky to southwestern Ohio. Senator Vance was originally a vocal critic of former President Trump before being elected to office. In messages to a friend in 2016, Vance said he goes, quote, back and forth between thinking Trump is a cynical a-hole like Nixon, who wouldn't be that bad and might even prove useful, or that he's America's Hitler. In a piece for The Atlantic that same year, Vance wrote, Trump's promises are the needle in America's collective vein. Trump is cultural heroin. He makes some feel better for a bit, but he cannot fix what ails them. In an op-ed for the New York Times in 2016, the hillbilly elegy author called Trump unfit for office. Here's more of what he had to say back then. I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. It, it makes you think that at, at, at a fundamental level, this is sort of a he said, she said, right? And at the end of the day, do you believe Donald Trump, who always tells the truth? Just kidding. Or do you believe that woman on that tape? No, I cannot stand Trump because I think he's a fraud. <laughs> well, I think he's a total fraud that is exploiting these I people who is a total fraud. Like you said, I, I agree with you on Trump because I don't think that he's the person. I, I, I don't think he actually cares about Folks. Definitely, there is definitely an element of Donald Trump's support that has its basis in racism or xenophobia. I, I, I think there's a chance if I feel like Trump has a really good chance of winning that I might have to hold my nose and, and vote for Hillary Clinton. I think that that I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to vote for th I'm going to vote third party because I can't stomach Trump. I think that he's noxious and is leading the white working class to a very dark place. Last night, Vance addressed those past criticism and explained why his views have changed. I don't hide from that. I was certainly skeptical of Donald Trump in 2016, but President Trump was a great president and he changed my mind. I think he changed the minds of a lot of Americans because again, he delivered that peace and prosperity. If you go back to what I thought in 2016, another thing that was going on, Sean, is I bought into the media's lies and distortions. I bought into this idea that somehow he was gonna be so different, a terrible threat to democracy. It was a joke. I don't think it was a joke. I don't know what to do. I cannot stand Trump because I think he's a fraud. <laughs> well, I think he's a total fraud that is exploiting these I people who is a total fraud. Like you said, I, I agree with you on Trump because I don't think that he's the person. I, I, I don't think he actually cares about folks. So as a conservative who thinks that Trump does not have the answers and isn't qualified to be president, what are you going sure. to do? 
this election, if you don't mind saying. <laughs> well, my current plan is to vote either third party or as I joke to my wife, I might write in my dog because that's about as good as it, it seems. But, you know, I, I think there's a chance if I feel like Trump has a really good chance of winning that I might have to hold my nose and, and vote for Hillary Clinton. But ultimately, I think I'll probably vote third party. I might vote for this this new guy who I really like, Evan McMullen, who I actually uh, met the other day. But but I, I, I think that that I, I'm, I'm going to vote for th- I'm going to vote third party because I can't stomach Trump. I think that he's noxious and is leading the white working class to a very dark place. And there's a Donald Trump's new running mate. I will vote for my dog over him. I will vote for a guy I just met, Evan McMullen or Hillary Clinton or some other third party entity I can't even name. I will not vote for him because he is noxious and he is leading us in this country to a very dark place. He calls him a total fraud. Uh, in, in addition to that clip you saw there of him on MSNBC on Hardball with Chris Matthews saying that he believed a woman when she testified in the E. Jean Carroll case that she was sexually assaulted by Trump. She, he believed her, not, not Trump. Um, he also liked a tweet around the same time saying that Trump had committed serial sexual assault. Another one just calling Trump a monster. He has called Trump a moral disaster. He's called him cultural heroin. He has called him reprehensible. He has also called him, quote, an idiot. J.D. Vance is a very good writer. He wrote in a very good New York Times op-ed that, quote, Trump is unfit for our nation's highest office. He wrote to one former roommate about Trump, quote, I go back and forth between thinking Trump is a cynical a-hole like Nixon or that he's America's Hitler. How's that for discouraging? End quote. Now, again, remember, Donald Trump was one of the instigators for the posse that attempted to kill Vice President Pence for not doing the unconstitutional thing. Think about this. And Pence never said anything this badly against Trump. Of course, J.D. Vance is a lot smarter than Pence is. And that is what he thought about Trump. But it, given that J.D. Pe- JD Vance wants to move uh, ahead in the Republican Party, and the Republican Party has been taken over by MAGA, he figured, I'll sell my soul, and by selling my soul, I can move ahead, and who knows, I may even become the President of the United States, because good old Donald Trump, he's 78, and just like Biden may, you know, could croak in office, so could Donald Trump. The only difference is Donald Trump is obese. Donald Trump doesn't, you know, so he could, who knows what happens to him, right? So I have never seen someone criticize their running mate this bad. Not even during the Reagan, Bush, Bush used, you know what we thought was bad? When Bush used to say Reaganomics was voodoo economics, that's as bad as George Herbert Walker Bush got before uh, Reagan went ahead and accepted him as his presidency for the pres- uh, for the vice president. But my God, J.D. Vance was relentless. And, you know, uh, while CSAC may say, don't you change your mind sometimes? Yeah, you change your minds on things that are not verifiable. You change your mind on things that that, you know, that isn't necessarily in that spot. But what J.D. Vance did will show exactly who Trump is. And for that, we are going to have a whole lot of ads. And the ads are not for the MAGA folks. You won't convince the MAGA anything. But the good thing is that there are people on the fence that are going to say, my God, if his vice president thought this about him and now he's on the bandwagon, both of them are no good. Both Vance is morally corrupt and Donald Trump is morally corrupt. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know 
is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.